Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer hey, Ari. had a very shiny nose. I'm a busy man, girls. Ari, all we need is a minute of your time. Are you going to buy a yearbook this year? Seriously, girls, I'm busy. I got to go decorate the Christmas tree. All we need is just one minute of your time, Ari. I'm just looking at the yearbook that's $40 with all your memories in it. I was just wondering if you're buying one. I gotta go. Ari, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you don't want to spend $40 on a yearbook with all your memories in it? And you can have it for the rest of your life and show your kids? Girls, I'm busy, you know, like I don't got time to buy a yearbook. You're really not gonna buy a yearbook, Ari? You're really not gonna buy one? Well, you know what? You're gonna burn in hell for not buying a $40 yearbook with all your memories in it for the rest of your life. And I hope zombies eat your brains! What the heck? Are you kidding me? All right, guys, so as president, I got a tree, and I think that we can raise school spirit by decorating it. So let's try and make Hill Park have its best Christmas ever, all right? Hello, this is the Nico Camera Show, Christmas 2010. DJ Tim and Spin That Tune. Love you. Watch out, Nico. We have field hockey championships. Good luck, girls. What's going on, Nico? Nothing much. Not much? Nothing much. Hey, Nico. Hey, Nico. Hey, Nico. Oh. Nico. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. What's that? I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. Son, are you enjoying this Christmas? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, sir, I have to. Mr. Morrison told me to film. Hey guys, uh, Mr. Z told me to get to tell you to get a uh, figgy pudding. Uh, why don't you do it, Nico? Because he said for you guys to do it. So. Hmm, how can I help you? 
Three, how to leap from a motorcycle to a moving car. What is that? The worst can case scenario hit survival handbook. Did you get that? Or some room. That ah, makes sense. So what the hell is Biggie putting anyway? I have no idea, but I kind of left my phone downstairs in the cafe and I go get it. Okay, bye. Hello? It's three o'clock. It's Christmas Eve. What are you doing here still? Hello? Don't you want to go home? It's Christmas break. Hello? Hi. Sorry to disturb you. Uh, you can stay here for the two weeks if you like. Uh, I'll go rent the worst case scenario handbook. Uh, here you go. Bye. <laughs> Guys, okay, I'm sh I'm trying to text here. Can you go, please? I love your beautiful eyes, Alicia. <laughs> I love your top braces, Dave. You got a little something there. Are you going to the Christmas dance tonight, Alicia? Only if you are, Davis. Wait. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Oh! 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 Mama! Hey girls. Are you going to the Christmas dance tonight? Well, I mean, if you're my left and right arm, then yeah, for sure, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Yo, Ari, park the wheels for a sec, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, man. Yeah, 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 but I got this great idea for our yearbook video. Yeah, yeah, sure, all right. Okay, so you know in those Reebok commercials how they have the the office linebacker, Terry Tate, he comes around and he lays people out in the office, they don't recycle and stuff? Well, instead of being in office, we're going to have Scott Brown hire you to be the hallway monitor, like a hallway linebacker. You go around just laying kids out if they don't throw out their garbage and stuff. Asbury, make sure that garbage ends up in the garbage. No problem, sir. Please. Please. Oh, what about your garbage? You can't bring down loose number on your son! What? I just saved a bunch of money in my car insurance by switching to Geico. <laughs> <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Ari! Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Did you really think we would end it that way? <laughs> well, the moral of this story is that if Ari had bought a yearbook for $40, perhaps he would have lived. Yearbook. <laughs>